Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Service Error Code 1067. The process terminated unexpectedly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to actually go and open up the search menu. Type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now, locate whatever service is listed in that dialog window. It could be just about any service. You just go ahead and locate it in, in this list and then double click on it. You want to set startup type to automatic if it's disabled or it's set to manual. And you also want to start the service as well if it's currently stopped. So again, make sure it is set to automatic and then start the service if it was not already running. Then select apply and OK. And then I would suggest restarting your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Something else we can attempt here as well, if we open up the search menu again, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. Go ahead and copy the first command. It starts with SFC and then space forward slash scan now. So go ahead and copy that from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and then paste it in. And hit enter. Give us a couple minutes to run. And just please be patient. Okay, so it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So once you're done with that command, I recommend running the second command in the description of my video, guys. It's going to be a DISM command. So go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter on the keyboard to begin running this scan.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. Okay, and once that's done, hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. If you are still having an issue, you can attempt to reset your network settings as well back to default. So in order to do that, just make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby if you're using a Wi-Fi to connect to the Internet, because once we're done resetting our network settings, you will have to enter them back in in order to connect back online once your computer restarts. So open up the search menu, type in Network Reset. Best match, you'll come back with Network Reset. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, it says this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select Reset Now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And you will be signed out within five minutes. So I'm actually going to manually restart my computer at this time. So, And I would suggest you guys do that as well. So just go ahead and restart here. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.